What's up, everybody? My name is Anthony Patterson. I'm here at the Raleigh Municipal Building um, for the Breathe Life After Death exhibition. Um, I'm here on behalf of the Black on Black Project for a special Curated Conversations episode. I'm here with Clarence Hayward, a phenomenal artist. Um, and uh, we are here in front of a portrait that you painted of William Paul Thomas. But before we dive into that, could you give me a brief overview of your artistic practice? Uh, I consider myself an artist. I'm a painter, collagist. It's simple. I make work about my experiences, what I see, my life, in the world. Dope, dope. So 2020 mm -hmm. has been a year full of complexity. I mean, we've had notable figures pass away this year. Um, we've had protests and uprisings all over the country, even globally. And of course, we're in the age of the Rona. Mm -hmm. So how are you navigating this year? I have a private studio. I'm in there all the time. Just keep putting out that work. Uh, yeah, so my life hasn't really changed that much, except my family's around a lot more during the day. But besides that, I'm in the studio working. It's interesting. Uh, for a lot of people, it has been a time where we've had to define what productivity means for us and even look a little bit deeper in things. But um, I know that is something that's, it has affected me a little bit um, as well. But as a painter myself, right, um, mm -hmm. I know that we all love different parts of our craft. Mm -hmm. um, what is your relationship to painting and particularly portrait painting? Uh, I've always been drawn to the figure. It's something I've always done. Uh, it just comes natural, so. I don't know. That's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm just. I'm drawn to people, I'm drawn to faces, drawn to posture, just. I mean, right now we're in front of a portrait that you painted for William Paul Thomas, mm -hmm. and I've had the pleasure of knowing William for quite some time. Mm -hmm. um, what about his personality did you want to bring out in this painting? Uh, so I know Will too. I think Will is like a great painter, a great person. I've gotten to know him a little bit over the last couple of months. Um, I just wanted, I wanted to uh, bring out his personality a little bit because he's kind of quiet in public, but he's, uh, he's really like strong. So I wanted to display that. Uh, we talked a lot about his passion project during our interview, the hot pink break. Whatever. I, I mean, if you go to, to the site, you'll see what that means to him. But so I, I knew I had to put that in there. And his work, he does a lot with the, the doubles and doubling. So I know that would be real, real personal to him. And in my personal work, I do a lot of uh, working with goalie. So I wanted to, you know, bring both into the work. Nice. Um, what sparked the use of gold leaf? I know you said you use it, um, mm -hmm. but do, does it mean something special to you or? Well, yeah. Um, what sparked it is my favorite painter is Barclay Hendricks, like most figurative black artists, right? Um, so I, I was working on a series of self-portraits, and I know he has a series of self-portraits, and he used a lot of gold leaf and silver leaf, and he played around with it a lot. So I just got interested in using it, and now it's become a major part of my practice. Dope. Yeah, Barkley Hendrix is definitely a GOAT for yeah. a lot of black artists. And um, I even have a coffee mug with one of his portraits on there. Um, so what do you think of the portrait of yourself painted by Telvin? Uh, I think it's great. It's, uh, it's a little weird to see myself on such a grand scale because he did it pretty, pretty big and like the figure. But it was it's cool talking to him and seeing why he did it and some of the elements he put in or some of the elements he left out. So yeah, I've gotten to know Telvin through this process and yeah, it's cool. So Clarence, um, what was your favorite part about painting these portraits and getting to know these artists? Uh, my favorite part of the whole process was actually getting to know the artists. So like uh, 
we had a lot of Zoom calls. We met in person a couple times, a photo shoot, stuff like that. Uh, I felt like we, we all got a lot closer. I felt like I know these guys a lot more now. Uh, so I'm able to make portraits of them and there's a connection there. So yeah, it was a, it was a great experience.